Let's bring in a key advisor group of CEO Eddie DeFord. Eddie, you know, I want to talk about the earnings, right? We're in the middle of earnings season. This is a big week for earnings. And here's the interesting thing. Wall Street was really kind of bracing for earnings uh, to come in lower. And here's your positive earnings surprises. They've come down a lot. Your negative earnings surprises have gone up a lot. But what's really intriguing to me is that uh, because I read your note, you're saying that the, the market is priced for perfection. It's coming in worse than anticipated, and, and, and estimates weren't that high to begin with. And the reaction is most stocks are still going higher on these less than expected earnings reports. So what's happening here? So this is, as you know better than anyone, it's very typical in a bear market to get these big rallies. And the more violent they are, the more confirming, in my opinion, that it is a bear market. But the other bigger reason as to why we're seeing this is, and we're saying price for perfection is, People are now starting to get in this soft landing camp and pricing in two rate, two rate decreases this year. I mean, the Fed is not going to come in and cut rates unless things get really bad. So you can't have a soft landing and say the Fed is going to cut <laughs> rates because right. it just doesn't work that way. Right. And I don't believe we're going to have a soft landing. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and to that point, I'm going to get to that point because you, you've been talking about recession maybe being higher you know, than a lot of people are anticipating. Some of the data, though, a lot of the market implied odds of recession have come down a lot compared to October. So right now, look at the market. That's down a lot. Uh, uh, high uh, growth uh, credit, uh, base metals. Uh, so just about every category, some of the euro stock uh, stuff. So all, a lot of these categories are moving away from recession. But you're saying, no, this is we're going to have a tough, deep recession, in your opinion. I do, and I think the biggest reason for that is, look, we have seen a shock to the credit markets in the sense of we've got the cost of capital has more than doubled in less than 12 months, and we haven't seen the impact of that yet. The biggest thing that concerns me is the amount of corporate debt that's going to be refinanced this year and next year. When you double the cost of capital, at the same time the consumer is losing steam and demand is lower, that again is a recipe, unfortunately, for disaster from a risk asset perspective. And look, I talk to small business owners around the country that are clients, uh, and I hear story after story that they don't believe that inflation is coming down because their labor costs are still high, their material costs are still high, and some of them are having to shut their doors. So I think you're going to see unemployment rise over the next year and a half. You're going to see more businesses announce that they can't pay their debt. Um, and that's why we think we're going to hit new lows in this market. And look, I don't want this to happen. Sure, sure. Uh, but these are what these are the realities that we are telling and sharing with our clients that we see, and it's very concerning. So you've got a big chunk of cash. You're, you're sort of bracing for a worst case scenario. Other than cash, is there a way to deploy that uh, for for folks who are feeling the same way? So look, I think cash right now is actually paying you a decent yield. So you're getting paid in a sense to wait and be patient because if we're right. We think the big money is going to be made on the back end of this recession. Uh, but look, there's still treasuries. I know that's not sexy, but look, the long-term <laughs> treasury ETF has outperformed the S&P year to date. So there's still pockets that you can go into. But I just think, again, if you want to wait this cycle out and you really want to make big dollars, those that have cash during a recession, look at 08, 09, the tech bubble burst, those that had the ability and patience to buy were handsomely rewarded. And my biggest concern is people are getting too complacent with this soft landing narrative, uh, and that cost of capital is a big dark cloud that I don't think is getting enough attention. All right, Eddie. Well, you've been spot on, my man. Thank you very much. Let's talk again real soon.